Confederate entrenchments. Here on October 13th, 1863, 700 Confederate soldiers assembled on this hillside in preparation for attack against a Union hilltop stronghold on our left. The Confederate objective was to gain control of a vital link in the strategically important Weston and Gauley Turnpike. A covered bridge located at the time is in the valley below. Right here is a little bit of the embankment, of the, the trenches that was used in the Civil War here at Bulltown. On the evening of October 12th of 1863, Confederate troops under the command of Colonel William Jackson arrived at Falls Mill on the Little Kanawha River a few miles from Bulltown. Estimates of their number range from 700 to 1,000. As you can tell by this map, Jackson divided his troops into two attack groups, one under his command, the other under the command of Major J.M. Kessler. Jackson then proceeded to this hill and deployed his troops, the 19th and part of the 20th Virginia Cavalry, six infantry companies, and the Virginia Jackass Battery manning Union fortifications on the opposite hill were Captain William H. Mattingly's 6th and 11th regiments of the West Virginia, would have been Virginia then, infantry. Right? Yes. 12 hours of fighting. 12 hours? So let's take a glance of history right now and walk around this hill. Right here it is, the Battle of Bulltown. The lay of the land. Who knows how wooded this was back then. All this could have been wooded. Right here is the grave of the unknown Confederate soldiers. During the Battle of Bulltown, seven soldiers under the command of Colonel William Jackson were killed and soon buried on this battlefield. In 1889, Milton Butcher, whose farmland included a portion of the battle site, removed and reburied them in a common grave. The names of the slain soldiers remain unknown.